And so what this is about is helping the community to be able to see the future by changing the conditions. And in the process of changing the conditions, the people change themselves. So why is it this community, young people are playing in the streets, basketball, using bicycle rims for hoops to play basketball? Why we should black children have to do that? Court. We need to have things in our community. Black people need to be empowered of their own life. We want black community control of a basketball court, a simple democratic anti-colonial demand. This is not just about building a basketball court, it's rebuilding a community. At the Vanguard basketball court where we are putting the logo in the middle of the basketball court. This is powerful. The basketball court that black built and the woman that is responsible for laying this out, Deputy Chair Owner Zanaya Shatella. Can you see? Because of you, the Black Power Blueprint is rapidly moving forward, bringing a future of self-determination to the African community of St. Louis. Thanks to you, we were able to demolish the condemned buildings across the street from the Ohura House to make way for the One Africa, One Nation Marketplace and the Community Garden. Thanks to you, we have installed a 50-foot flagpole that will fly the 25 feet red, black, and green flag as an inspiring symbol of a future of justice, prosperity, and liberation for African people here and around the world. So we're talking about the people being able to reclaim our own power and our own dignity. And so down the street from here, uh, there's One Africa, One Nation marketplace where people can come up and then sell to each other. Money can begin to circulate in the community as a consequence of that. Uh, they're talking about the emergence of a doula program. Uh, women's health care uh, is going to be provided right down the street. We are initiating a fourplex here uh, that's for housing for Africans who have been in prison to get out of prison for a work relief, a work program where people can learn the culinary arts, uh, can participate in that. So now we are in the process of helping the people to reclaim their leadership reclaim their genius, reclaim their future. And this is what this basketball court is going to be about. Africans and peoples around the world are determined to be free and will fight for freedom and have fought for freedom. And this, this struggle of African and oppressed peoples to take back our freedom, our dignity, our resources uh, is the thing that has created this profound crisis, ever growing crisis of a system that built itself, that actually needs, that actually requires, that cannot survive uh, without stealing our resources, and therefore every struggle we make uh, is a threat to its continuing existence. We create African revolutionaries, African organizations, and uh, the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement fulfilled that mission. That's the thing that's brought African working people together all around the world. Uh, in, their, in the townships in South Africa, uh, in South uh, in North uh, St. Louis uh, in the United States, uh, in, in Brixton, in London, in the various other places where we live, that mission has been uh, being accomplished with the party's creation of the International People's Democratic Rural Movement to bring masses of African people. So they might not come ready to make the revolution, but they are come uh, prepared to fight against police murder. They are coming uh, prepared to fight to, uh, to free uh, our brothers and sisters from these hell holes, these prisons.